a cubed plus b cubed equal to 10, a squared plus b squared equal to 7, a plus b is 1. So, here a plus b is sum of them. I call this one s. I call a b equal to product p, e, and I want to write these two equations in terms of s and p. First equation. A cubed plus B cubed. We have a famous identity that A cubed plus B cubed is A plus B times A squared minus AB plus B squared equal to 10. A squared plus B squared equal to 7. So we can say this A plus B. A plus B also we can call it S sum. So A squared B squared we said is 7 minus AB. AB is product. We call this P equal to 10. And then this one. We know A plus B squared is A squared plus B squared plus 2AB. But here we don't have 2AB. So we should subtract. Let me write for you the equations, the identities I use. First part was X plus X cubed plus Y cubed equal to X plus Y times X squared. You should memorize these famous and basic identity. The next one is x plus y squared equal to x squared plus y squared minus 2x plus 2x. So here we write minus 2ab equal to 7. a plus b squared is s squared minus 2p equal to 7. Now this part 7s minus sp equal to 10. So here, we can say P equal to S squared minus 7 over 2. If we replace P with S squared minus 7 over 2, then we have 7S here. I want to replace P here with S squared minus 7. So let's do this. Minus S times P, which is S squared minus 7 over 2 equal to 2. If we multiply both sides by 2, it will be 14s minus s cubed plus 7s equal to 2. Now, let's take all things to the right hand side. It will be s cubed. I'm oh, sorry, we've multiplied by 2, so 10 will be 20. Uh, so, if you take all things to the right hand side, it will be s cubed. 14s plus 7s, 21s. If you take it to the right hand side, it will be negative 21s plus 20 equal to 0. Now it is a cubic function. We should find at least one root. It's so much useful. If we see it has one root, it is obvious. It is 1. If we factor from s minus 1, because 1 cubed minus 21 is negative 20, plus 20 is 0. We factor from, because s1 is 1 root, s, we factor from s minus 1, it will be s squared, s cubed. Minus s squared, we place plus s plus s squared minus s minus 20 equal. Then we can write it as s minus 1. We can factorize the second term. It will be s plus 5 and s minus 4 equal to 0. So s was sum and we want to find all possible values for sum. It will be 1, negative 5, and 4. Found three variables. 4s. Okay. Let me write homework for you in this problem. Try to find a to the 4 plus b to the 4. It's easy. And comment your answers right below this video. And if you have questions, send message to my WhatsApp number. Please don't forget to subscribe, turn on notification, and like the video. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye.